once upon a time, the world of self-publishing was very different to how it is today. You could publish your own book, if you had plenty of money, and there was always somebody who was prepared to take that money off you. They were generally called vanity publishers back in those days. I'm now here with Jeremy Thompson of Matador Publishing to find out what today's self-publishing is all about. Hello Jeremy. Hello. So tell us, what is self-publishing all about? Well really lots of developments um, and things like the internet and in the publishing industry itself um, have combined in the last 10 years or so to enable authors now to be able to publish their own book to their own specifications um, at a very, very, very reasonable cost. Not only that, there are now publishers um, who will actually get their books onto the market and get them marketed, sold, distributed as well. So what's the difference between self-publishing and going the traditional route? Well, there are several dis differences, but I mean, the main ones are obviously cost. Um, with self-publishing, it's author-financed, so the author is covering the cost of the book's production um, and the marketing and distribution costs. With a traditional publishing deal, obviously, the publisher is the one that takes the risk. With self-publishing, it's the self-publisher that takes the risk. On the benefit side, a self-publisher can have exactly the book they want, so they can choose what to have on the cover, they can choose how it's t uh, typeset, styled, designed, and they can choose exactly how it's going to be marketed. It's, it's obviously wise for an author, um, obviously not being an expert in, in publishing, to take advice um, from their self-publishing company service provider, but um, at the end of the day it's the author's choice. So what is the future for self-publishing? Well, it's a very interesting time in books trade as a whole anyway. Um, we've got things like the iPad coming along and e-books is a big thing at the moment. Um, in theory, that should make it much easier for self-publishers to self-publish a book as an e-book uh, or as an, uh, as an add-on to a physical book. But there's all sorts of things in the future, content management systems, um, getting content of books out there in chapter format, in, in all sorts of different formats, um, apps for the iPhone, all of these sort of things are beginning to come on stream and self-publishing companies are now, are now actually starting to look at those things um, and, and how to make them available to self-publishers. A very interesting time, but I also think um, retailers are a lot more um, inclined to take self-published books as, as long as they see that they are of a good quality in terms of content and production and, and that's a very exciting time for self-publishers. So people publish for all sorts of reasons, don't they? Perhaps as a business card for, for their own business or maybe just to publish a, a book of poetry for their family, just for their own purposes. How do they choose which kind of route to go down in, with the various options that are available to them? Well, I think the really important point is that the self-publisher should actually know why they're self-publishing. Um, there's no point, for example, publishing a book of poetry and expecting it to be on the bestseller list in Waterstones. Very, very unlikely. A lot of people choose to self-publish simply because it's part of their hobby, it's part of a, that they're writing and they want to publish a book for themselves. And there's nothing at all wrong with that, as long as they don't expect it to then be in the bestseller list or to make a million pounds. Different people publish for different reasons and you have to be clear as a self-publisher as to why you're publishing. And really then you have a choice of, of which directions you can go. You can go down the, the route where you simply produce your own files and upload them to an online printer. You can then uh, go to a company that will do a little bit more for you by way of design and, and, and possibly marketing. Or you can go to the other end and you can actually use a company which will actually produce the whole book as it, as, as it were in a, in a traditional manner for a traditional retail market. And it's your choice, you have the choice, but what I would say is that, the, that as a self-publisher you really must research the market, look for a company that's recommended, for example, there's lots of, lots of internet um, sites out there with writers on who recommend people, and then investigate uh, um, what, exactly what you want and exactly what's the best way of getting that. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Jeremy, thank you for joining us today. It's been really informative and I know a lot of our viewers are going to be very interested. Thank you.